As you know, each of us takes pictures of a lot of things every day. But just a few decades ago, it was much more difficult to take a photo, so there are not so many really interesting pictures preserved from that era. And if we talk about photos from a century ago, then it's not so easy to find something really amazing. Nevertheless, there are still many pictures that have survived to this day while being surprising and sometimes even shocking. You will see all of them right now. Let's start with this photo that was taken in the distant year of 1935. There's nothing special, just three Burmese playing cards during a visit to London. But attention is attracted by the huge number of metal hoops on their necks, although this is a traditional decoration for the people of the former Burmese Union. Marlene Dietrich kissed a soldier who returned to New York during World War II, and some photographers even managed to capture this moment. Such a parking elevator solved the problem of lack of parking spaces in Chicago. The picture was taken in 1936. Such an unusual wedding photo was taken during a Christian wedding ceremony in 1986 in Beirut. At that time, there was a civil war in Lebanon. And now let's see what a futuristic gas station looked like in the Soviet Union in 1980. Babies were able to use such a cradle in the 50s and 60s of the last century. Two friends arranged a vacation in nature on a single-cylinder Panther 120 with a 650 cubic engine. And this giant turtle has lived for more than 140 years. On the left, you can see a picture taken when it was young, and on the right, when it was in old age. In general, this type of turtle rarely lives longer than 120 years. This amazing photo was taken during a military parade in Moscow in 1940. This is how the fireman's costume of the early 20th century looked. It was intended to allow the firefighter to get closer to the fire. This picture was taken in 1930 and depicts the famous naturalist William Bebe in a bathysphere. It was a unique spherical deep sea apparatus that was disconnected from the engine and lowered onto the ocean on a cable. That's how the windows of the World Trade Center were cleaned in 1979. Usually, you can't see the photographer in the frame, but not this time. This is what the Kodak camera looked like during the Second World War. And this is how children were being prepared for vaccination against polio in the 50s. In the 60s, motorcyclists and their passengers could be seen on the roads in such strange helmets. They allowed one to communicate even during the trip. In 1882, four turtles from the Seychelles were brought to St. Helena. The turtle on the left in the photo is named Jonathan, and it is alive to this day. Now you can witness a policewoman inspecting a girl's bathing suit in 1920. And here, male law enforcement officers are inspecting a female bathing suit.
And this is not a joke, because when the suit turned out to be too short, the woman was arrested. This photo shows such a case. In 1959, there were no mobile phones, but there were already car phones. They resembled home landlines, but it was possible to call even while driving on the road. And this rare photo from the archive of Marilyn Monroe was taken in 1960. The actress is resting on a boat with friends. Now let's move to London in 1939. Even in fashion trends, it is clear how high the level of anxiety of the population was at that time. People were suggested to wear a gas mask just in case. This is what the beaches of Los Angeles looked like in 1931. It is unlikely that such a beach holiday could improve someone's health. This touching photo was taken in Budapest in 1984. You can enjoy the view of a blind couple walking with their baby. And this is May 1938 in Georgia. People are just washing their clothes. There are high chances that this girl is smiling because she has never seen modern washing machines, so she is happy with what she has. This photo was taken on August 6, 1971 during the World Pole Sitting Championship. It turns out that these competitions were held only once. This was the interior of the aircraft of Imperial Airways in the UK in 1936. It looks like the passengers could comfortably sit on these wicker chairs. Now, take a look at this soldier posing with a Belgian Shepherd in 1940 during the Second World War. Australian troops were stationed near the Egyptian pyramids in 1914. I wonder why they took a kangaroo with them to Egypt. You can even take a small house with you to relax in nature. All you need for an amazing vacation is Panther 120 motorcycle, a compact house, and good weather. In 1940 in New York, a demonstration was held. The participants of this event offered to get to work on roller skates to save fuel and reduce the amount of exhaust gases in the metropolis. Let's move to the year 1973. The photographer managed to capture a rare moment when a polar explorer feeds a polar bear with his hands. This photo was taken during the gold rush at the Serra Pelada gold mine in Brazil in 1986. This soldier, whose face was damaged during the First World War, tries on a mask made by the American Red Cross in the Studio of Portrait Masks by Anna Coleman Ladd. Plastic surgery was not yet developed at that time, and a portrait mask was the only way to solve such a delicate issue. This Ukrainian immigrant to the USA arranged a kind of Stalin's funeral feast and offered everyone to try some borscht for free. This picture was taken in 1969. At that time, black Americans were still forbidden to swim with whites, 
but the TV presenter Mr. Rogers invited Officer Clemens to his program and invited him to cool his feet in the same tub with him. This acoustic device made it possible to hear the approach of enemy aircraft. It was used in the period from 1930 to 1935. Now we have a few more types of so-called great-grandfathers of radars. This version of acoustic devices was used by German troops during the Second World War. And this is what a protective suit for nuclear industry workers looked like. The picture was taken in the UK in 1954. In this picture, Martin Cooney holds two premature babies. Some people called him a fraudster, while others wanted to obey his every word. The photo was taken in 1900. In total, during his life, Cooney saved more than 7,000 premature babies. This chimney sweep apparently is not timid. It was taken in 1971 in London. In 1941, there were problems with gasoline in the Netherlands, and drivers had to harness horses to move their cars. The man in this picture is a photographer's assistant who climbed the statue of Pharaoh Ramses II in order to visually assess its size. This is the kind of waterproof clothing worn by Alouette hunters in Alaska. This picture was taken in 1905. These pictures were taken in England during 1917. During the First World War, many women worked at gun factories for the production of artillery shells. Their skin turned yellow, so they were called canaries. M497, or the Black Beetle, was an experimental jet car of the New York Central Railroad. On July 23, 1966, it reached a speed of 295 kilometers per hour, which is a speed record for American railroads to this day. I think this picture does not require comments. It was taken in 1935. And this is a photo of Terra Nova, a Scottish three-masted steam barracks tied to the ice at Cape Evans. The picture was taken in 1911. Now we have just a touching cute photo. That's how a boy takes care of his four-legged friend. In 1964, the Daleks strolled down the street of Cardiff in Wales. It was a fictional extraterrestrial race of mutants depicted in the British science fiction television program called Doctor Who. In 1969, in New York, in the evening, you could see people sleeping right on the stopped escalator. An Eskimo climbed into the mouth of a whale for an interesting shot. It's hard to say exactly when this picture was taken. It was taken approximately in the period from 1950 to 1969. Earth Sunrise is a photograph of the Earth and part of the Moon's surface taken from lunar orbit by astronaut William Anders on December 24, 1968 during the Apollo 8 mission. Just look at these cute twins, 
filmed in the northern part of the Soviet Union in 1968. Now let's move to Poland in 1936. You can witness the Fabiak Lux Torpeda train in the background of snow-capped mountains. This photo shows the demolition of the monument to Saddam Hussein in Baghdad on April 9, 2003. George Moore, a.k.a. The Living Skeleton, versus Fred Howe, a.k.a. The Fat Man, 1897. In 1916, the Studebaker Automobile Company literally drove a car along the edge of an overhanging cliff to create an advertisement. This historical picture was taken by Arthur Pillsbury. Manchester, 1943. Children ride on a swing suspended from a lamppost. This is what the motorcycle on which mail was delivered in 1912 looked like. A policeman stopped a cart pulled by an ostrich for speeding. It was taken in 1930. There were times when even beauties in swimsuits had to do military service. In 1970, a competition was held in Istanbul. The jury had to determine the participant with the most beautiful legs. In order for the judge's assessment to be objective, the girls had their faces covered with strange caps. This is a photograph from Kashmir, which depicts natives with boats made of inflated cowhide skins on the Sutledge River, November 26, 1924. Maurice, aka the French Angel, had a lot of money in the 40s of the last century. In addition, he became the World Heavyweight Champion in the American Wrestling Association twice. Animators used the image of Maurice Tillet to copy not only the appearance of Shrek, but also his flexibility. Such a bust was considered perfect in the 50s of the last century. This is how the American actress Suzanne Somers looked like in 1969. This photo was taken in 1965. You can witness young Stephen Hawking and his wife Jane Wilde. In the old days, there was a talking clock. It could be used to know the exact time throughout the day. And this is how pasta was dried in Italy in the second half of the 19th century. This photo was taken in 1865. 